your first fighter making his way to the cage out of the blue corner. Please welcome Zion Hill. This is a youth 160 pounds. Youth 160 pounds. And you can see very different youth fighters here. Yeah, a a, a whole other age bracket here. Zion Hill looking like a Gatorade commercial walking around. And walking out to Bone Crusher. Like, <laughs> How old is this scared? kid? Does he have a birth certificate that says I am 12 on it? I like, know. Uh, <laughs> these, these kids, man. And this is, of course, who we were talking about in the pre-show. Young man who just picked up a body shot finish in a tournament setting. So a vicious youth striker walking for that Carolina right, Kickboxing Academy of Walker the Vivian. Corner. Please all welcome Zane Switch Kick Alaji. Did I get that right? <laughs> Jeff Smith, we see you over there, buddy. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Welcome, everybody watching online. Welcome, Saturday night, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Looks to me like they're going to be bringing some power. That's Zion Arash sporting a full beard at the yeah, age of like 15, I'm pretty just sure. Here, download the app, fight for it out. Chest hair and everything. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> What's going on? What are they feeding Your these blue kids? Blue fighter stands at five foot seven inches tall with a one and one record, fighting out of Carolina Kickboxing Academy. And his opponent in the red corner, standing six foot tall, looking to get his first win in the cage. Please welcome our out of BC kickboxing. Here we go, third fight of the night, round number one. Make some noise! Let's go, cheer your props and all. All right, the more experienced Zion Hill out of Carolina Kickboxing Academy taking on Zane Araji from BC Kickboxing. All right, Zion versus Zane is underway. And they are both not scared to trade. Man, that was a thudding leg kick from it's Zion powerful. Hill. All right, I believe that they'll be uh, using the regular adult rule set here. I think the knees of the body are a go. Man, nice, nice switch kick from uh, Zane, earning his nickname there. Man, imagine being so good at one technique that that's just your nickname. Yeah, I, I love I love that he's putting it all together. Like he doesn't just throw one. He really is following up his kicks with punches. Um, he's throwing multiple kicks. That, following up with them, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, our official having to sprint to get out of the way. These two kids are not only powerful, they're fast too. I think Zion is really throwing with intent intent yeah. to intent to, to harm hurt, to, to do intent bodily to hurt harm. somebody. Yeah. Yes. If a guy like that hits you and he's built like that, it usually hurts really bad. And it's super frustrating when you have somebody technical like that that's throwing multiple things. They just don't, they don't stop, and you're going for that knockout punch. I think that's one thing people get hung up on, looking up for the knockout punch. I would like to see Zion really get technical with it, not, hunt, not head hunt so much now. Ooh, yeah, turns his knee with he's that like, strong lead leg kick. I think he realizes now that Zane's here to fight. Yeah, and he, I think he's uh, I think he's kind of recognizing when Zane is setting up for a regular kick. So the switch kick's the only thing that's really there because he can kind of hide it behind a step in or hide it behind a feint. I really do like the switch kicking from Zane. And he's going from the head to the body to the kicks. He's really mixing it up well. Yeah, very technical, very technical on the striking. Both these guys for their age are just extremely, extremely skilled fighters. But those leg kicks from Zion, I, I just, I don't want to feel that. Everything that he throws that actually lands, I'm like, ugh. It sounds painful. Have you made your picks for the main show starting in just a few minutes? Use the QR code on the screen now to download the Fight For It app on Android and iPhone devices. Pick the upcoming fights correctly to score points. The top 33% win a share of $500. Selections will be turned off when the first kickboxing fight starts. So download the app and get in on the action now. Now go. Okay. If you're in, <laughs> if you're in Zion's corner, what are you telling Zion right now? What words are you giving Slow him? Slow down. Don't do too much. 
You know, I, I was I was cornering a fight, or not cornering, I was calling a fight in Charleston. Uh, Malachi Friedman, one of his fighters, I think it was actually Kevin Nguyen. There was a time after the first round, Kevin had a great first round, but he was just you know, a lot of volume really, really hard. And he said, hey, you're doing all the right things. Just do them slower. Let's go through this a little bit slower. Let's do, do it a little bit more technically. And I think that if Zion slowed down a little bit, didn't swing for the fences with every strike, he'd be a, a lot more competitive in these exchanges uh, and dominantly. Now it's, it's a little, he's, he's kind of entertaining Zane a little bit. And I really feel like if you let Zane work, he's going to eventually go for that switch kick that he's so well known for. Sometimes you have to learn touch, touch, bang, you know. you got to touch, touch, then throw the power shot. I definitely feel like that's the kind of fighter Zane is. He's, a, he's, he's, he's very much touching with some of these leg kicks, and then he'll switch to that powerful side and send one home. Now we're actually seeing Zane be the person who's pressing the action forward, forward, forward. He's got Zion up against the cage now. Big cross from Zion Hill. His movement, the angles, he's really working the cage. Yeah, Zane, Zane's got great ringsmanship. And he can take a hit, that's for sure. And whether it was the corner advice or whether it's a matter of stamina, Zion Hill is actually slowing down here. And Zane is doing a great job, as you mentioned earlier, head, whoa, that was of varying beautiful. the attacks from the body to the head, body to the head. It's all about the levels. You got levels, you got legs. You got a lot to work with in kickboxing. So, you know, I've always learned whenever I was a kickboxer, like you always want to follow up something. If you're punching, follow with legs. If you're throwing kicks, start follow up with hands. Yeah, most people don't win fights on single shots. You know, kickboxing, especially with the amateurs, you got the shin guards, you got the headgear. They're all keeping you from getting... A, an easier finish. So you've really got to make sure you're always scoring because most of the time these fights do end in a decision, especially at this level. And I think Zion, you know, he's won with power, like finish someone with a body shot. And I believe when you when you find something that works for you, oh, oh. and there was the body shot. Yeah. There was the body shot. It popped up and you could see immediately there was a reaction from Zane. It wasn't one of those ones that shut you down, but it definitely it was, hurt. He felt it. Yeah, certainly. He goes back to the well on that body shot there. Now Zane looking for one of his own. Man, what a round there. Zane now kind of coming online more. He's definitely allowed to strike a lot more in that round. I think it might be 1-1 going into the third here. Yeah. Just like I was saying with the kids before, it's one of those things where you find something that works for you, and if it works, you start doing it. You want to do it over and over again because it's working, but then there's only so, many time, there's so much time before it doesn't work for you, and I think Zion is really um, – relying on his power shots and things like that and it's not quite working too well. I mean that body shot though it, it yeah. might be he might be chipping away at him so but from what I see right now you can tell that Zane's definitely in there and, and willing to bang when he does land cleanly it's a problem but he's not being presented with a lot of opportunities to just land cleanly he's got to kind of set it up he's got to kind of find a way to force himself to land because right now Zane is just so technically sound defensively that he's just able to kind of keep him just outside of the ideal range, you know. Really use, utilizing that long frame of his very well is uh, Zayn Al-Raji. Round three. Last round here between these two youth fighters. They're calling for push kick out of that Carolina kickboxing corner. They're going to exchange kicks. Oh. Zion's running straight forward. Oh, Al Raji takes one clean across the chin. He's tough, man. He's yeah, certainly, certainly got a chin and some ribs on him because he's taking big shots to the body and the head tonight and shown no signs of slowing down. Zion Hill throwing leather. I think, I think in the corner, Zion's coach definitely said, hey, you know, this is the last round. You really need to put it on him. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But, you know, sometimes when you're when you're built like that, you need to take a round where, well, not necessarily a rest round, but you need to take it easier in, in, the, in that middle round. You know, you can you have a lot of explosiveness and energy in the first round, and then you got to kind of earn it back, right? Get your gas back a little bit. Yeah. Now we're seeing that Zion is firing on all cylinders. 
And uh, a lot of times, especially in these amateur fights, aggression and just being always in the other guy's face is enough to get you a decision. It's enough to win you around for sure. And now he's starting to back up again, letting Zane kind of back into the fight. When he's going forward, Zane cannot set up kicks. He can't yeah. get in a base. This is where I think the gas tank's starting to empty a little bit for Zane. Finally. I know, finally. <laughs> yeah, finally. He's showing some kind of oh, signs man. of humanity here. And you can hear the corner saying, do you want to win? Like I just said, last forward. round. Man, what a ripper. Man, I'm, I'm glad those gloves were there for Zane because that, that was thudding, man. And this kid can throw. Ten seconds left in this fight here. Going down the home stretch, been one of the best fights of the night. Absolutely. Setting the standard for the adults to come is Zion Hill and Zayn Al Raji. What a phenomenal, a fight. phenomenal fight. I couldn't tell you who won that one, unlike the last two. I, I know. Yeah, I think that was a pretty close one. I think maybe we're looking at 2 1 Zion. That, that last round was pretty good for him. I definitely think that second round belonged to Zayn Al Raji and we the first to Zion. To the so. I agree with you. Just kind of depends on how you see that third round. And I think it was an expert, I think it was some expert coaching, asking him, do you want to win? Kind of motivating him to push through that barrier because you could tell that he was getting tired. He pushed through to the end and, and was delivering punches to the final bell. Zane has a chin, that's for sure. A chin, a body, Yeah, a chin, legs. a body, <laughs> legs. I mean, he was taking some big shots and, and not one of them seemed to really compromise him, him yeah. or phase him. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, that's got to, even no matter what the results shake out, that's got to inspire some confidence because I guarantee you Zion Hill hits harder than a lot of adult men. Oh, yeah. You know, so if you can fight a guy like that and come out and take his shots and keep fighting. Us being right here cage side and hearing the skin and the leather and the punches well, everything you, landing, it's. That mic right there that Jason has for in ring audio, it'll pick up some stuff on yeah. the fight. Uh, I'm sure that the people at home Fighters can hear it too. To the center of the cage. All right, I'm interested to see how they scored this one. Let's see the who shakes out the winner. In. And it is a split decision with your winner going to the red corner. All right. Zane. It really could have went either way. Zane. Definitely could have gone either way. Zayn Al Raji picks up the win over Zion Hill. That was a beautiful fight. A great fight and definitely too close to be called a robbery for either side, no matter how it shook out. Yeah, I definitely think either guy could have won that one. If I had to guess, I would think that those two judges saw the first two rounds for Zane, because I really think the third one was kind of one-sided. I agree, yeah, the third round was definitely one-sided. 